NBC5 News at 6 starts now. A chilling crime caught on camera. Watch as this masked man points a gun at an employee, gesturing for him to get on the floor, all in an effort to make off with cash. Good evening and thanks for joining us on NBC5 News at 6. I'm Natalie Hurd. And I'm Christine Pitawanich in for Craig Smullen. That is our top story this evening. Medford police are looking for the man who robbed a South Medford radio shack last night at gunpoint. And they're hoping the video that you're about to see will help them catch the suspect. Take a close look. Unfortunately, the suspect is pretty covered up. This is the man police say pulled out a gun and robbed the South Medford Radio Shack just after 7 Monday night. He still has some unique clothing items that maybe somebody can recognize. Maybe not recognize the person, maybe recognize the shoes, maybe the shirt, maybe the face covering, maybe the jacket, maybe the way the person walks. And Dana Knapp, who works at the Supercuts just a storefront away from Radio Shack, might feel a bit more at ease if someone did identify the suspect. It was a bit shocking to hear that um, that it was at gunpoint. Around the same time of the robbery, she was starting to close up shop. All the while, she didn't hear a thing. That's until she found out about it Tuesday morning. I went, whoa, had no idea it was even occurring. It's the latest robbery in 2013's upward trend. Robberies are up 56% this year from where they were at at the same time last year. In just the last few days, two bank robberies occurred in the Rogue Valley and the radio shack in Medford was robbed at gunpoint. But not all of this year's robberies were as extreme. The majority of those robbery cases are shoplifting in which force was used. People becoming more desperate. A lot of this is motivated by drugs. Meantime, Knapp is just grateful no one was hurt and with the knowledge that robberies are up. We're definitely more aware of what's what's going on around us and um, knowing that, that the police department's a phone call away. Phone calls are what police are hoping for to identify this man who's still on the loose. Now that man Medford police are still looking for is described as a white male about 5'8 with a shaved head. He was also wearing a blue hooded sweatshirt and blue jeans with a white bandana across his face. Call police at the number that's on your screen if you know anything.